y'all I've got 30 minutes before class starts so I'm just gonna zoom through this and edit it later so hello hello my name is Shay and I like to make things and I'm gonna tell you about how I made my daisy dress so basically I made this huge social distancing dress it was super fun I'll make a video about it soon but it took like two months and completely burnt me out creatively and so for this next project I really just wanted to do something that I wanted to do and something that's kind of been in my mind for a while and that was the strawberry dress but I wanted like a softer color palette with a little more like flowers and like cottage core and lace and so the daisy dress was born. I made it on Instagram and I posted it on Instagram and TikTok and a lot of people liked it. So I thought I would sit down and talk through a little bit of how I made it. So it'll help you out if you wanna make your own daisy dress. Starting off, not gonna lie, it's kind of the fabric that makes this dress. I got my daisy tool off of Etsy. I think it was $6.50 a yard. I got four yards, though I would recommend you get five or six if you're tall because I was a little short on fabric. <laughs> All the other fabrics I used were from the LA Fashion District and I got them for pretty cheap. I wasn't really going for high quality supplies here. Feel free to get creative with your fabrics, use what you have on hand, thrift. You know, like, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's a daisy dress. So for this skirt and for a lot of this dress, I took a look at the strawberry dress and kind of found the elements that I liked and then saw ways which I could recreate those into my own dress. So for the strawberry dress, I really liked how twirly it was, how floofy it was, and how light it felt, and also the fact that it looked a little gathered. So taking all those elements, I decided to do a gathered full circle skirt because full circle skirts are really swooshy and they have that really full look. And if I gathered the waistband, it would give me that gathered look. So my skirt was three layers. The first layer, I made a half circle skirt out of satin. Super easy to make. You literally just cut a circle out of fabric or in this case a half circle out of fabric. You sew up the sides, you hem it, and you got a circle skirt. That's that's literally all there is to it. <laughs> If you need a little more instruction on how to make a circle skirt, there is a circle skirt pattern calculator, which is super helpful, and I've linked it below. The second layer was a petticoat, because I wanted it like a little bit poofier, and that was also super easy. It's just one big rectangle, and then one super duper long skinny rectangle. So you gather the super skinny rectangle, and attach it to the big rectangle, and then you gather the big rectangle, and sew it up on the sides. And that's it, you have a petticoat. I've included all my measurements in the visuals, but feel free to like change them up for you. These are just the ones that I used. The third layer is the daisy tulle layer, and I wanted that to be a full gathered circle skirt. So to make this one, it's honestly just the same deal as the base layer. Cut a circle out of fabric, and you cut a little circle for your waist, and that's it, that's literally it. I love circle skirts, they're the easiest thing to make. The only difference to make a gathered circle skirt is you'll cut it like maybe two to three times your waistband and then gather it up so you have a gathered waistband. And then yeah, you sew all three layers together and it's really twirly and it's really fun and it's super cute. You can even just wear it as a skirt and it's really cute. And I wore it with a sweater and I thought it was really cute. So at that point, skirt is done, super cute. We're gonna set it aside. You know what? I should get the daisy dress out here to show you guys. Oh. Oh. Okay, so hopefully this helps you visualize it a little better. But yeah, if you look over here, you can really see how the top is gathered. And that's just like a look that I like and I wanted to add. So that's why we do a gathered circle skirt. So Coolio, um, I guess we're on to the top now. So you know what? I should just insert footage of her. I'll be back. Okay, so for next up is the top. I love the deep v-neck in the strawberry dress and I wanted to do a deep v-neck here, so deep v it was. So to get the pattern, I actually draped the pattern, which is basically just a process of putting the fabric on the dress form and kind of moving it around and pulling at it and shaping it until you kind of get the pattern that you like and you draw it out. And then you have your pattern pieces. I'm self-taught when it comes to draping and I don't totally feel the most comfortable like teaching about it because I'm not even that confident in my own skills. So I linked another tutorial that teaches you how to drape this exact thing in depth. So I actually made my top out of four layers of fabric. One layer of satin, two layers of chiffon, and then a top layer of daisy tulle, of course. So I just stacked those fabrics together, pinned them all so that they wouldn't like shift around, and then yeah, I just put my pattern on it, cut it out, sewed it up, and that's, that's really it. I did do something a little bit different for the front pieces where I did only the three bottom layers and not the daisy tulle, and then instead I draped the daisy tulle on so I could have it gathered and very nice. I just did this so that it would have like a gathered look in the front that would help match the skirt a little better. So then doo -doo 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 -doo, sewed that guy all together, and then yeah, I just, that's, that's pretty much the bodice. Um, I 
added a couple hand tacks down on some of the gathers just so they stayed in place, especially under the bust area because gathers have a tendency to like part where the boobs are. It's weird. You just tack them down so that it doesn't like look funny. You take the bodice, you take the skirt, you put them together and then you sew that up and then you have a one piece dress and it's super cute. In day dresses that I wear around, I like to use invisible zippers, so I added one to the back of this dress. But also feel free to use like grommets, corset back, like anything that you like, you can add to the back of this dress. <laughs> Woo! That means my class is happening in five minutes. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta cut your losses. Um, I'll be back in two hours, guys. Two hours later. Back from class. Got some good finance knowledge in my brain, and I'm gonna go and get back to this dress. Zoom school sucks, by the way. Anyways, I'm back from class, and I'm gonna go wrap up this little tutorial. So pretty much at this point, you have a dress. If you wanna stop here, you can stop here. Just finish up the sleeves. The sleeveless look is really timeless and cute, and I think it makes it feel like a little more vintage and a little less cottagecore. But the people of Instagram have spoken, and they said poofy sleeves so mine will have poofy sleeves. And honestly, good choice, I agree. But the sleeves are super easy, it's only two layers. It's just a chiffon layer on the bottom, and then on top of that is the daisy tool. And this one you don't even have to make your own pattern for. I actually used a pattern for this one. You don't have to really make any changes. You just print it and you cut it out, and then yeah, you got a sleeve pattern. And then I also added just a little bit of elastic in the armband, because it really helps create like that poof effect, so it's less of a flowy sleeve, more of a poofy sleeve. As a personal preference, I added a little satin ribbon to make a waistband but that's it that's my daisy dress I feel like it's very much a garden dress so enjoy this little montage of like clips of me in my garden it for this tutorial honestly like this dress is one of the ones where I just would want to wear it <laughs> around the house most of my dresses go in my attic but this one is actually gonna stay in my closet and news of this channel I am trying to revive it I've been posting on and off here for like years but I've never really had a consistent schedule or a consistent sort of thing that I made but my goals for 2020 is to post every month two videos a month and kind of keep things like crafting focused and really go into tutorials and really like do that sort of thing, yeah. So if that is something you're interested, please subscribe, come along, it'll be fun. I'm really excited for 2021. I think I'm gonna make some cool stuff. I mean, I'm stuck inside, so. If you wanna see stuff more often for me and as I'm making them, check out my Instagram. I tend to post like daily updates there and only like monthly or bi-monthly updates on TikTok and YouTube. If you have any questions about this dress or any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to them as much as I can. And I hopefully will see you soon with a tutorial for my social distancing dress. All right, bye-bye.